Aung San. February 13, 1915, July 19, 1947 Burmese politician, independence activist and revolutionary Aung San was born in Nat Mauk, Magwe District, on February 13, 1915 during the British Raj. After Aung San entered Rangoon University in 1933, he quickly became a student leader. He was elected to the Executive Committee of the Rangoon University Students' Union, RUSU. He then became editor of the Rusus magazine OA and keenly interested in politics. After his graduation Aung San began studying for a law degree. His intention at the time was going to politics. In 1937, along with other student leaders he founded the All Burma Student Union, later known as All Burma Federation of Student Unions. After 1938, he resolved to abandon the pursuit of a conventional career and committed himself to revolutionary politics anti-British and staunchly anti-imperialist. In October 1938, Aung San left his law classes and entered national politics, and joined the Obama Asia Ewan, We Burmans Association, as General Secretary until August 1940. Between August 1938 and July 1939, he helped organize a series of countrywide strikes that became known as the Mi-1300 Revolution. In March 1940, he attended an Indian National Congress Assembly in Ramgarh, India. Aung San met many leaders of the Indian independence movement, including Jawaharlal Nehru, Mahatma Gandhi, and Subhas Chandra Bose. In May 1940 Japanese intelligence officers led by Suzuki Keiji had arrived in Yangon posing as journalists in order to gather information and to seek the cooperation of local parties for the intended Japanese invasion of Burma. Among their network of local collaborators they made close connections with Aung San. Aung San spent the rest of 1940 in Tokyo, learning the Japanese language and political ideology. At the time he wrote that he was opposed to Western individualism and that he intended to create an authoritarian state modeled on Japan with one state, one party, and one leader. In February 1941 Aung San working with Japanese intelligence, secretly re-entered Burma and began efforts to contact and recruit additional Burmese agents to work with the Japanese. Between November and December 1941 Aung San and his party were successful in recruiting approximately 3,500 Burmese volunteers from the Siam-Burma border to serve in their army. On December 28, 1941, Aung San and the rest of the 30 comrades formally inaugurated the Burma Independence Army BIA. The capital of Burma, Rangoon, fell to the Japanese as part of the Burma Campaign in March 1942. On August 1, 1943, the Japanese held an independence ceremony in Rangoon, in which they formally granted Burma independence, on condition that declare war on the Allies, which of course included their colonizers, the British Empire, as well as the United States, which Japan was then at war. Japanese had planned to make Hong San the leader of the country but in the end they were more impressed with Dr. Balmao, and made him the leader instead, under Japanese control. The army, still under the control of Aung San, took their motto, One Blood, One Voice, One Command, and still the official motto of the Burmese military at this time. Within a year, however, Aung San and the other Burmese with him saw that Japan's promise of genuine independence for Burma, was belied by the vicious nature of Japanese occupation, which beating, jailing and starving the local populace. He organized an anti-Japanese uprising in Burma, secretly forming the Anti-Fascist People's Freedom League in August 1944. He organized a secret meeting between the Burma National Army BNA, the Communist Party of Burma, and the People's Revolutionary Party, which later reformed into the Burma Socialist Party. In 1945, the BNA switched sides and attacked the Japanese instead. And it come to be commemorated as Resistance Day, until the military regime renamed it Tetmada. Armed Forces, Day The Burmese National Army continued to harass the Japanese throughout the remainder of the war. The Allies helped to arm Aung San's forces somewhat after their defection, supplying the BNA with 3,000 small arms and on May 2, 1945, Allied forces retook Rangoon. World War II ended on September 12, 1945. Following the end of the war the Burma National Army was renamed the Patriotic Burmese Forces, PBF. 
and then gradually disarmed by the British as the Japanese were driven out of various parts of the country. Aung San signed an agreement at the Second Panglong Conference on February 12, 1947, with leaders representing the Shan, Kachin, and Qin peoples. In this agreement, these leaders agreed to join a united independent Burma, under the condition that they would have full autonomy. The date of the signing of the Panglong Agreement has been celebrated in Burma as Union Day. In July 19, 1947, a single army jeep carrying gunmen and military fatigues drove into the courtyard of the Secretariat building. Aung San died after being shot in the chest. The eight other people who died in Aung San's assassination were among the most promising political leaders in Burma. Thakin Mai a close friend of Aung San. Bacho, the Minister of Information. Abdul Razak, a Tamil Muslim, the Minister of Education. Ba Win, the Minister of Trade, was Aung San's older brother. Man Ba Kang, the Minister of Industry was one of the few Karen politicians not to have boycotted involvement in the new government. Sao Sam Toon, the minister of the Hill Regions, was a Shan prince who had taken an active lead in convincing the other ethnic minorities to join Burma in becoming independent. Ong Wang was a deputy minister in the Ministry of Transportation, and Kohwe, Abdul Razak's 18-year-old bodyguard. For his work towards Burmese independence and uniting the country, Aung San is revered as the architect of modern Burma and a national hero. He was instrumental in Myanmar's struggle for independence from British rule, but he was assassinated just six months before his goal was realized. On January 4, 1948, Burma was granted independence. By August 1948, a civil war began between the Burmese military and various insurgents, including communists and ethnic militias. The internal conflict within Myanmar continues. I always think challenges are interesting and help you to become a better person.